Why? Why are we here? You're, you're here because an automated distress beacon designed 2,000 years ago and talked to the etheric artificial intelligence in your jump engine and told your ship to come save this ship because its distress beacon went off. That's literally what happened. So how can I leave? Well, we have to turn off the distress beacon. Don't call me Jim. You could be helping me out here. What are we doing standing here? Let's do it. Uh, it's uh, 20 levels down. We don't know how to turn the beacon off. The beacon has its own power supply. What do you want me to do? I didn't design the damn what shaft. What if we shut it off? I mean, what if we shut everything off? We shut everything off? Well, uh, two things would happen. Number one, the containment field on the null engine that's downstairs would be dropped, and there's a good chance that this thing would implode and create an etheric black hole in the multiverse. Or, you know, best case scenario, you turn all the life support off and we'd run out of air before we could run the 45 floors back to the escape hatch or the portal that takes us out of here that we all came in through. So those are your choices. Now we might be able to hot wire the, the ship to ship portal to teleport us to another portal point on a dimension, but we'd have a 1 in 16 million shot of making it. These are not my methods and you know that. So take a breath, let's hike down to this ancient monster, keep an eye on Jack. It's not Jack that I'm worried about. This ship is not haunted. It's just, it's all in your head. It's a little negative energy residue from a catastrophic occurrence that happened thousands of years ago. That's not, not ghosts, that psychic residue. You're totally blowing. What, the boogeyman's gonna come up and choke me? I do not like flying this thing at all.